When the patriarch of the family, Adam Busby, appears on TLC's Outdaughtered, fans can't help but be charmed by the proud papa. There's just something so totally sweet about watching Adam interact with his adorable daughters, but he's more than a devoted husband and father to six girls. On Outdaughtered, Adam and his family are seen living in a small town outside of Houston, Texas. It definitely seems as though the Busbys are happy there, but that isn't actually where they're from. Adam grew up in Lake Charles, Louisiana, the very same town his wife Danielle is from, and where they met when they were both working at their local Target. We met when I was 19, Adam was 20. We worked at the same place and got married three years later, then moved to Houston. Yeah. Fans have been able to watch the Busbys travel home to Louisiana to celebrate holidays and birthdays with their families. We finally made it on the road. So it's a Busby miracle right there. Considering they are a family of eight, it's never an easy trip, but it's clear that both Adam and Danielle treasure Lake Charles, even though they have now made Texas their home. Naturally, the news that he was going to have five children all at once came as quite a shock to Adam, as it probably would to just about anyone. Boy, um, did we get pregnant. Considering all the emotions Adam and Danielle went through when the Quints were born, it couldn't have been an easy adjustment to suddenly have five more kids to care for, especially since they initially needed extra care. Two days after they were born, <laughs> we found out just how fragile they were. As fans of Al Daughtered know, the Quints entered the world weighing about two pounds each and had to spend time in the newborn intensive care unit, as noted by a post on the family's blog. Once Adam and Danielle got the Quints home, though, another kind of stress overwhelmed their lives. In an interview with ABC6, Adam explained how he was transitioning to having the quintuplets at home, saying, You want to be so frustrated and you're so tired, but you look down and one smiles at you, and you can't be frustrated. Oh, she's peeing on me. <laughs> Babe, why don't you put a diaper on her? I forgot they were... You have a whole stack of diapers right here. She just peed on me. One of the many reasons fans love the show so much is that Adam and Danielle are both very honest about how tough it is to raise six daughters. On season two of Outdaughtered, Adam opened up about his struggle with postpartum depression. He was hiding from it, hiding it from himself because he didn't want to face it. It was a tough time for the couple, but they were able to come out on the other side stronger than ever. I'm at my happiest whenever I'm hanging out with my girls, but I want to feel that way all the time. In a statement released to People magazine ahead of the episode featuring Adam's depression, he explained that he felt he had an obligation to open up about what he was going through. He said, I want to make sure that I bring awareness to the realities of postpartum depression and other mental health issues, because I know I'm not alone and I want others to know they aren't either. Obviously, fans of the show probably can't help but wonder what exactly Adam Busby does to make ends meet. After all, it has to take a pretty hefty income to support six daughters on top of himself and Danielle. Interestingly enough, Adam has actually had quite a career shift since first appearing on Outdaughtered, and he seems to have found his passion. I just need 20 minutes of quiet. On season five, Adam started his own media company. Previously, he worked as an account manager, but he left the position in July 2018 after over 11 years. Shortly after, Adam launched Adam Busby Media, and he landed some pretty big clients, doing spots that even featured his daughters. In fact, Adam was even offered a great position with a company that was located hours away from his home. But considering the opportunity certainly wasn't easy on anyone. On your mark. Get set. Go! Run, 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 run! While Adam was lucky enough to start his own media company in 2018, that doesn't mean that the career shift was necessarily simple to maneuver. On season five of Outdaughtered, when Adam was transitioning into his new business and there was an opportunity for him to move to Dallas to make a lot more money, it was a tough call for Adam to make. So tough, in fact, that the decision of whether or not to take the job caused a lot of tension between Adam and Danielle. And it also led to many viewers firing off at Danielle for not supporting Adam in taking the job. Why am I being vilified for trying to provide for my family? It's just a lot when one of us is going to be off our normal routine. According to In Touch, one person commented on Instagram, Your husband accepted a good job to better you and your kids. Why are you angry? It was definitely a rough time for the couple and revealed just how much stress Adam was under when it came to his career. 
Six children may seem like a lot for some people, but the Busbies never say never, it seems. Of course, having Quince definitely put getting pregnant out of the Busbies' minds for a while. Still, Adam isn't opposed to welcoming more children into their lives. But if they do decide to have more kids, it probably won't be through the old-fashioned way. In an interview with Us Weekly, Adam revealed that he and Danielle would, quote, never completely shut the door to adding another little one via adoption. He said, Something that we will always stay open-minded to. But, you know, as far as, like, having children of our own, like, her birthing any more children, not as So while the Busby house may be packed with kids, the couple's hearts will always be open to, maybe one day, growing their family. Considering both Adam and Danielle live so much of their lives in the public eye, it's unfortunately only natural that they're targeted by trolls and parent shamers on the internet. Not everybody has to make decisions for quintuplets. On season five, the couple was faced with a challenge when one of their quints, Riley Page, did really well on her placement test, and her teachers suggested she move up to kindergarten. B. What'd you say, B? No, B. Do you guys love school? Yeah! Mommy Shamers came for Danielle after she announced Riley was moving up a grade, with one person taking to social media to ask via People magazine, why does it seem like the entire family revolves everything around Riley? Fortunately, Danielle has Adam by her side, and he always stands up against the mommy shamers. He told the outlet, People are looking at our photos and looking at our posts under a microscope just to find out what they can criticize about it. When Adam and Danielle made national news for giving birth to Quince Ava, Olivia, Hazel, Riley, and Parker, they weren't exactly used to being in front of cameras and sharing their lives with the public. They were just a normal family, which they still are, but now they're a much bigger one. However, over the years and throughout all the interviews and seasons of Outdaughtered, Adam has gotten more comfortable broadcasting his life on national TV. He revealed what it was like to have cameras follow him and his family through so much of their daily lives, telling Good Morning America, We had him with us, I mean, from the very beginning, and we, we got used to it pretty quick. Blake, Blake was calling our producer, Uncle Brad. Clearly, the Busbys don't mind being on TV, and as Adam said, they, quote, took right to it. For basically anyone who watches the show, it's pretty obvious that Adam is completely smitten with all six of his daughters. When you're in a house full of girls, you gotta do what you gotta do. But some fans wonder if he's disappointed that he doesn't have a son to carry on the family name. And while Adam did reveal to Us Weekly that he and Danielle were open to adopting a son in the future, it's not something he's too concerned about. On their family blog, It's a Buzz World, Adam opened up about parenting a household of girls, writing, Lots of people have been asking me if I'm bummed that I'm not getting a boy. Yes, it was a little bit of a disappointment, but in the whole scheme of things, I am completely fine with it. Adam wrote that blog post before the Quints were born, and he explained that his biggest concern at the time wasn't the gender of the babies, but of course, their health. He wrote, Coming home with my beautiful wife and five baby girls is all that I care about. Considering the couple had five babies at one time, it would make sense that Adam and Danielle wouldn't want to get pregnant again anytime soon. So as fans learned on Outdaughtered, Adam had a vasectomy to ensure that the couple wouldn't accidentally have any more kids running around their already jam-packed house. But on one episode of the show, a stressed-out Danielle revealed that her period was late and that she didn't understand what was going on. This is BS coming out of your mouth. Do you really want more kids? It was only then that Adam confessed that he never went back to the doctor after his procedure to make sure that the vasectomy actually worked. Obviously, it was frustrating news for Danielle to hear. I never went back to the follow-up to make sure that the vasectomy took. <sighs> Adam, I'm gonna hurt you. To the relief of probably everyone, it turned out that the couple was not pregnant, but the scare made Adam realize that he had made a mistake. He may be a great husband and father, but just like everyone else, he can miss a doctor's appointment on occasion. So are you gonna take a pregnancy test? You need to go get your stuff checked out. With six kids running around, work to keep up with, and a camera crew following them around for much of the day, it's a wonder how Adam and Danielle find time for themselves. However, it's clear that spending quality time together is important to the couple. In an interview with Us Weekly, Danielle shared their key to making it work. Date night count as a thing yeah. in life? Like, do we it's have always. date nights? Don't ever no, no. give up on your date night. Yeah. And it's obvious Adam agrees. In fact, the two went on a romantic vacation for their 13th wedding anniversary in 2019, which Adam documented on Instagram. 
Alongside a sweet selfie, he wrote, quote, She still makes my heart skip a beat. There's absolutely no doubt that Adam enjoys spending time with his wife, and when you consider how crazy their life is, no one really deserves it more than those two. There would be no big Busby family without this love that we have. If you regularly watch the show, you know Adam clearly values fitness and nutrition. While it's not always easy with six kids and a demanding job, Adam definitely thinks it's important to be physically active and healthy. In fact, he even did a sweet segment with TLC called Lose the Dad Bod, in which he did a daddy-daughter workout that would inspire any parent to get moving. Here's a quick workout you can do with a weight or one of your kids. Fortunately for Adam, his wife Danielle is also super passionate about health and fitness, so he has a great built-in accountability partner. On their It's a Buzzworld blog, Danielle wrote how she manages to find time for fitness with six kids, saying, We all find time to eat and sleep, but finding time for fitness and exercise is just as important. Clearly, the Busbys are a family that likes to keep active, and Adam isn't going to let anything get in his way when it comes to living a healthy lifestyle. While Adam and Danielle don't talk about their faith on Out Daughtered all that often, they both have a very strong belief system. In fact, Adam even has the title, quote, Christ follower in his Instagram bio, and he has mentioned his Christianity more than once on social media. For example, when his friend Jared Wilson passed away in 2019, Adam took to Instagram to express his loss and noted that his faith was helping him go on, writing, God is still in control, no matter how much we don't understand. He is still in control and he is love, and nothing can separate us from his love. Adam has also thanked God for his six children in one particular Instagram post where he wrote, Thank you, God, for giving me the opportunity and ability to be daddy to these six miracles. Clearly, Adam has a big heart for his faith and his family. Say Busbies! <laughs> Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more list videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.